this is Kurt Vile, and you're watching. Yeah. Well, our next guest is the queen of rock and roll. Oh, my love, I wanted to be somebody, and here I am. Dressed in leather and wielding her mighty bass guitar, Susie Quattro tore the roof off 70s glam rock and left her male counterparts for dust. So come alive. Originating from Detroit, Susie moved to London in 73 where her debut album was an instant hit and a star was born. After her music career took off, she returned to the US and joined the cast of Happy Days as rock and roller Leather Tuscadero. Hi, Johnny, what's she? Over the years, she's produced 17 studio albums and sold more than 55 million records. So if you more than 50 years on and Susie's still rocking with a brand new album and an Aussie tour to boot. Well, here she is now. Would you please welcome Susie Quattro? Oh my god, oh my god, this is so exciting. I'm really excited. Yeah. Can I show you something, please? This. No, 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 no. You say on TV? Yeah. You never get that on the album cover. So this is a record. Yes. This is one of the first records I ever listened to in my life. Right. It's a, an unbelievably treasured possession. Okay. My, my brother bought it and he introduced me to you. This is, and it, like, it's from 1974. It barely held together. It's incredible. And before we do anything, I'm just going to hijack this interview. Can you please sign this for me? Sure. <laughs> This, yes. I, I want to show you, this, is, this is incredible. So, that's 1974, and this is your new album. I don't know how we can do this, but just the facial expression on that one, and then the facial expression on this one. It's the same, isn't it's it? It's the same face. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's my face. <laughs> have, you, have you held that exact face for 45 years? What, I think there's a sort of... I, I can do it now. It's a Susie attitude. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh. Cool. That's don't mess with me. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit scared to ask for my record back. <laughs> I signed it. There you go. Thank you. With That'll this... be ten pounds. <laughs> with this brand new album, Susie, your son actually worked on it. It's the first time you've ever worked together. How'd it go? Yeah, we did. Um, we wrote and produced the whole thing together, except for three tracks, which I, uh, I did on my own. He was clever. You know, how, you know how your kids can be? You teach them and then they teach you. Uh -huh. He came to me and he went, I want to remind you of who you are. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, but I grounded him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wanted to push my Susie Quattro button. Uh -huh. And did as, as he saw it, and he went, and just this wonderful album, you know? I was so, it was really brave of him to do that. Well, did any of these people press your Susie Quattro button? You've got a documentary about your life coming out. Henry Winkler, Debbie Harry, Joan Jett all uh, spoke about you. Did, was there any surprises? Um, no surprises. A lot of humbling. Yeah. And I wanted to... I can't say it on TV because it's swearing, but uh, Debbie's a good friend of mine. And when she says she was so beautiful, I wanted to say something expletive underneath that and say, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you know, Debbie Harry, is, she's just, you know, one of the iconic. But what she said was very sweet. I, I, it was just humbling. I cry every time I watch it. I snuck into the cinema on the <laughs> London premiere because I had to appear. So I sat on the edge and watched everybody's reactions. And there were parts when I wanted to crawl out of the, out of the theater cringe moments. <laughs> and those are the best moments in the, in the documentary. I left everything and as long as it was true, it stayed in. Oh, ah. Fabulous. Right. Love that. Yeah. And I'm about to go on tour, as you know. Mm. Uh, when do I start? Um, you start... I don't know when do I start. <laughs> We're playing the gorgeous Palais Theatre in St Kilda. The Palais is great. Yeah. I love it there. Uh, Joe jo jo will be your chauffeur, incidentally. Yeah. Uh, so he'll, he'll make sure you get to everywhere that you I need to go. I am your entire rider. What do you need? Are you, are you really? 
I, can't, I am now, yes. <laughs> <laughs> What? Do you take orders well? Of course, yes. Okay, I quiet then. <laughs> <laughs> by, by the way, why the hell haven't you been inducted into the US Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? They've just been in touch. Have they? Uh, oh. Yeah, they want, they want to do something with my film and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I, I, I made a mention of it because somebody from Billboard called me in America. Yeah. And they asked the question. And I actually said, I don't usually talk about it, but I think I do have to just say that I, I was the first fact um, there wasn't there hadn't been a successful rock and roll female musician leading a band of guys it just hadn't happened so for an organization that prides itself on doing things like this what yeah, yeah. what's wrong with this picture and what I said on billboard was that you can't rewrite history because that doesn't work yeah so right. I've said it now Either they will or they won't. I'm going to L.A. to get the She Rocks Award in uh, January, and I'm, I'm in, I've, I've got awards coming out of my ears, but um, <laughs> I nearly said something else. Then. <laughs> <laughs> we, we heard it coming, you know. <laughs> yeah. no, you didn't go there. Because <laughs> you're on television, I'm being professional. <laughs> not so rock and roll. Now, Susie, Waleed was sort of gushing, but he's actually a bit of a rock star himself. Oh, that's an incredible cool. guitarist. But when he picks up the bass, he plays it with a pick. What do you think of that? Oh. <laughs> I'll get him for you. I'll get him for you. That's okay. I was, was going to ask for my pen back anyway. <laughs> no, pick is no good. If you're, um, that's, in fact, a pick means you're very possibly a failed guitar player. Oh. Oh. Hang on, sorry, isn't that just the definition of a bass player? <laughs> oh. Massive sting. Actually, there's two different things. Yeah. Bass players, when they play with picks, do you really, you are a frustrated guitar player. Yeah. Bass is all about the feel of the skin on the strings. Yeah. You don't pick a bass. Do you really? You should try the other way. Yeah. Trust me, do I'm a what? bass player. Yeah, I, do you know what? I, I, I'm prepared to trust you. My preference is never to pick up the bass and just play the solos out the front. That's the more fun bit, right? I play a solo out the front. Oh, really? Yeah. Slight bass? What's that? Yeah, on the bass. What's that old joke? Two guys watching the band, and he says, oh, God, I just hope that drum solo never stops. And his friend says, why? He said, because then the bass solo starts. <laughs> <laughs> but I do a good one. No yes. Doubt. I do an interesting one. I have I no do. doubt about that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You should get a guitar lesson from Susie. Oh, well, or at least a bass lesson. <laughs> <laughs> at, the very least. at least put the pick down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fair enough. Well, Susie's album, No Control.